Welcome back guys to American Farming. We are on the big cattle farm and this is probably one of my favorite save games I've got so far. So we're gonna play this save game. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a series yet, but I've been playing it, it's been fun. Now first things first, we've been wearing this shirt for a couple days. I gotta switch out the shirt. We gotta wear something different. It's, it's getting pretty dirty, we gotta wash it. So I'm probably gonna throw on this shirt. It's a little, it's a little warm out, so we'll throw on, we'll throw on some pants. Maybe cowboy boots, we'll see. And then we'll throw on some boots. There we go. Toss on a different hat real quick. We're gonna run the blue jet hat. There we go. And I might switch up my mustache real quick. Handlebar mustache, there we go. Now before things get started guys, right now we are number one on the app store. On the US app store for top paid apps, American farming is number one. So thank you guys for that. That deserves a little dancing. We got a little dancing action there. Also, if anybody needs help within the game, like they don't know how to do something or they're having issues with the game, either join the Discord down below in the link. Um, we have people in there that can help you or you guys can contact the support email on the Squad Built website. Okay, to get into it, we are on the big farm. First things first, I'm gonna move my truck quick. And also, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you have a wireless controller, Play the game with your wireless controller. It is so good um, with a controller once you learn the controls. Now, since we don't have any corn that's ready to harvest, I'm gonna quick just drop off. Yeah, we'll probably just drop off this header trailer. I'm probably gonna park it outside even though I probably shouldn't leave it outside. We're gonna. And I'm just gonna drop off this header trailer just right around here real quick. And we'll just disconnect that, drop it off. And I'm probably gonna park the semi truck up here. And then we gotta get doing morning chores to get the cows fed right now because I'm gonna go fully percent into cattle. Like that's what I wanna do. I wanna try making a lot of money with cattle. We got the forage chopper over here, which we don't have any corn ready. If you go to planted fields right now, check this out. I need to get planting some more. We have one field of corn that's growing and I needed to keep planting. So we have enough corn, we have enough feed here. So that is the game plan. But first things first, let's we'll hop on in the MX230 quick. I love the tractor sounds of this tractor. It's got this old tracker sound, and uh, no offense, new ones are good, but I love it, like an old raw diesel sound, and this one has it. And if you guys need like controller controls, cause it is like, it's pretty complex, it's all in the help menu here. So if you're, like you're looking for one, like how do I do that? It's all in the help menu. And we'll quick fill the feed wagon, the Meyer feed wagon quick, and we'll pull over here and start dumping. You don't have to, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pretend realistic and just slide on down here like I'm filling a bunk. Okay, those guys got some feed in there and then I'm gonna just fill up probably quick again and go feed the steers over here in the steer lot. There we go, get those guys full. Son of a gun, I got my, I got my tractor blocking over here. I kind of like to always pull through here and pull around if I can squeeze through here. I need to move this tractor. Yeah, we'll just get this out of the way. We'll leave the 1206 always connected to the chopper. It works pretty good, but we'll just, we'll just move them out of the way. If I had to, if I had to say, this is probably my favorite farm setup right here. It's just got everything. It's got big grain bins and it's just got a big cattle yard. Now I haven't, I have never even tried dairy yet. That's one thing I need to do is test out dairy. Tab around to equipment real quick. I got everything super organized in the, in the sheds. And then we'll get close and start unloading these guys. Okay, sweet. They should be full. For now, I'm probably just gonna park the MX-230 I kind of just like parking everything in front of this corn crib or out in front of this corn crib. It just keeps everything organized for now. Oh, also, I, I'm going to forget to mention this in videos, but I got to mention it legally. Guys, this game, uh, Squad Built Inc. is owned by me, so I do directly benefit and I'm in direct affiliation with Squad Built Inc. Um, so I do need to say that. Okay, let's check out. Let's check out what we got in animals real quick. So they got some manure. I pr probably should buy a manure spreader for these guys because you guys can see they got some manure. These guys got to be close. They're 32 months old. Now, if we check the steers quick, animals, feedlot, these guys got feed. And it says they're hungry right now. See how they're yellow? But as soon as a little bit of time goes by, they'll, they'll stop being hungry. Okay, so we're going to wait until we're going to feed these steers out all the way till they're 1,500 pounds. And then we'll sell them for our max profit profit but i want to keep growing some corn so we're gonna hop in the delta track quick and put in hydrus on a field so that's basically our nitrogen put our nitrogen down on a field quick that way we can get planting some corn on it okay okay real quick real quick real quick we're gonna stop inside 
and put our anhydrous mask on. Safety first. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Anhydrous mask. We're good to go. That's for, just for safety because this is basically a gas. Okay, let's go. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We forgot that. One sec. Come on, buddy. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. Jump in, man. We're going. There we go. Okay, we got Bo riding with us. Okay, there should be a field entrance to this field. It should be like right over here. But basically, what we own right now is just this smaller field right here. I'm going to start slowing down. And with a controller, like you can control the gears so well. Like see how I'm going just very slow controlling the gears there. Okay, we'll unfold the anhydrous bar. And we'll get applying some NH3. Okay, drop her down and we're going. Now this bar can only run at 6 mile an hour. It also does a cultivating pass, so technically you get a yield bonus, like a 5% yield bonus for secondary tillage, which ends up working pretty good. I should probably just get the AI worker going, but I kind of like running the equipment myself too. I'm going to hop out quick and let him do his thing. And we're, he's going to knock out that field. Yeah, I'd like to get the combine inside real quick. We won't use this for a couple months, so I'm thinking... Thinking we'll toss inside quick. I'll run inside and get the door open. There we go. We'll throw the door open real quick. Perfect. Should be good. Also, guys, let me know what is your guys' favorite like feature or what are you guys liking about the game or what can we improve on? Let me know what you guys are thinking down below. Like We're always looking to add more stuff, improve on more stuff. And heck, I just want to know what you guys like about the game. Okay, while well, we're doing that, we have some P and K in that fertilizer buggy, and I need to get fertilizer in this next field because I actually want to like get a high yield off this field. So I'm thinking we'll hop in this tractor, probably disconnect the forage wagon, and hook up to that buggy. This buggy comes in handy a lot, guys. Make sure when make sure like if you're trying to grow like a high yielding crop that you put on fertilizer. There we go back up I ah, shoot you know what this has urea in it this has nitrogen in this buggy so we have nitrogen in it I actually want to get P and K so what we're gonna do quick is just head to the co-op real quick and then you can sell back the nitrogen fertilizer and we'll just buy P and K real quick that should work how many times did I say quick so if we pull over to this point guys right here I'm gonna hit the green button to sell back the fertilizer and just selling it back, it's giving me the money. And then we're gonna buy keep P and K real quick. P and K stands for phosphorus and potassium. There we go, buy P and K. And I'm just gonna fill this thing all the way up. There we go. Spent 4,700 bucks on it. Also, if you do wanna turn off these like interactive markers, cause you like are pretty good at the game and you know the game, you can just hit uh, markers right here in the settings and it'll turn off. Pretty nice. I'm gonna actually change up the time to 15X. There we go. Farmhand Richard, he's starting rows over there, so he should be good. Okay. Okay, let's start spreading some fertilizer here. You guys can see, if you, well, if you can, you can see how it's like making it dark. It's making a dark fertilizer pass. Okay, boys, it's already nighttime. AI workers are still going. I'm going to quick hop in the tractor again and get them their nightly, get the nightly chores done, get some feed in them, because these guys are going to be full. We got them on times 15x, and they're going to go through feed pretty darn quick. I'm afraid I'm going to be probably close to empty on feed. I should actually check that. See how empty we are. We'll pull under here quick. Fill up with some cattle feed. Yeah, we're going to be empty soon. Oh, I think we still got some loads in there. Let me check real quick what animals need feed and which ones don't. So calving pen, they got a little bit of feed. Yeah, but the feedlot, see, they don't have any feed. So we got to feed the feedlot quick. And what I love about this game, and I've said this, is when it gets dark out, like you don't need lights. You can see super good in the game still. And it's just not annoying having it be nighttime. And that's that's, what, that's probably what I love most about the game actually. Okay, let's get them fed. There we go, these guys are good. I could probably give them another load of feed, but they should be good for morning. And then we got our corn growing out there. That's the only field of corn I actually have grown right there. Okay, let's check on our AI workers quick. I think Jerry's putting on Hydra still. He's doing good, yep. And then we'll tab around. Just doing headlands now, knocking on the headlands. I think he's probably searching for his row. Biggest thing with AI workers, guys, let it do its thing. Sometimes it'll do like one extra lap around the field to try and find its rows when it starts doing rows. Just let it do it. Let it do its thing, pretty much. 
Tight. Well, we have some money quick. We do have 2.1 million. And yes, I did buy that money and cheat in that money. I did not earn that money just straight from the start. Like, it is fun trying to not cheat in money, but uh, for this save, I did cheat in that money. This is probably one of my favorite semis. We're going to fire up the semi, and I'm probably going to just drop the... Yeah, I'm thinking I'll just drop the trailer here. And I'm going to... Ooh, it looks like Ruth Stark Rose over there. But anyways, I'm going to go buy a Wolinga feed trailer. And we're going to use it for cattle feed. Actually, wait, no. We need, to get the, we need to get the dog. We need to get the dog. Come on, Bo. You're riding with us. There we go. We got Bo in here. He always likes a semi-ride. Love the sound of this truck. Absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what farm do you guys want to see me do next? So right now, I call this the big cattle farm that I'm on. But I could go to probably one of like the starter farms or like hogs or even the dairy farm. Uh, would be a fun farm to work on. Or I could go this big grain farm over here too. It's just, I like having livestock on my farm. Okay, we'll pull into the dealership and then we'll quick buy the cattle feed trailer. So I'm gonna buy the Wallinga one. Now it works. Do I go green, blue, or red? I think I'm gonna go green. We're gonna go green. I'm gonna purchase this. Now this works with both cattle feed and pig feed. The only reason I'm doing this is because we may get busy with like harvest and not be able to keep up with our cattle. So it's kind of nice having the cattle trailer here to at least like support you if you run out of feed or something like that. So we'll pull in here and then get it loaded. Right there. And then I go over here. So you can buy cattle feed or you can buy hog feed. We are going to buy cattle feed. And it's loading. And there we go. We got it purchased. Oh, also... I don't know if I've showed you guys like the town or not, but the town's pretty darn cool. I, I never showed it in like one of the other episodes, but check this thing out, guys. It is pretty darn cool. We wanted to make it like small town Iowa, like realistic. That's what we're going for with this game. It's just like realism. And just do not hit signs, guys, because check this out. Check what happens when you hit a sign. <laughs> it runs over. One of our developers, Matt, I think it was Matt. Yes, Matt Matt really wanted to put that in. So we put that in the game. And if you can't make a turn with a semi, you run over a stop sign. And I, we got our AI worker going out there. She's still spreading some P and K. And I forgot to check on, I think nitrogen is done. And hydrous is done. So we should be good there. Okay, so we're going to go over and just move this arm over with the Wolinga feed trailer. And then once you get it like over the bunk, you can unload it um, with the feed trailer, which is pretty darn cool. And we can actually store a lot of feed in here. This is probably going to go through like almost all of my feed. I bet you. Okay, we're we're calling it good. We're calling it good. We're gonna sa we're gonna save the rest there. I'm gonna fold her up, and then we're gonna use some of it at least for the cow calf, Ben. He's gonna make Bo's gonna make fun of me for my backing up skills, guys. I'm gonna try and back this up right along the cow calf pen, and I'm gonna try and do it all in first person. So basically, I gotta look out the back window there, which is really tough. I can, I, I'm close. Actually, Bo, I might have it, Bo. I think we should be good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we're good right there. Okay, it works. It's kind of close. It'll work. So then we're just gonna, it's the same controls for the loader arm. We're just gonna pull over here and I might, oh, I might have to, oh, no, nope, that'll work. I'm gonna back up just a little bit though, right there. And we'll start loading it. We should really get some calves sometime soon, I'm hoping. Oh, oh my gosh, there they are. They just spawned. We got calves. We got calves. Right when I was watching, we got calves. Like, the, the, the amount of timing on there is insane. And no, like, I didn't know a magical cheat to drop the calves. They literally, we timed that so perfect. Okay, I need to be a little more organized here. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the semi quick. Probably gonna just loop it around and then pull it up next to the building. Let's go check out the calves real quick. They should have enough feed, so they should be good. But I just wanna check them out. I think we got six different calves here, I'm guessing. So if we go to animals quick, calving pen, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight different calves. Right now they weigh 115 pounds. And then let's see, if I go over to a calf is born weighing 100 pounds. At one year old, calves become yearlings at one year old. And then you can transfer, okay, so then once they become yearlings, you can transfer the yearlings over to the feedlot feed them out and then once they become steers you can sell them for a lot of money let's check out here quick on our maps fertilize okay that is fertilized with p and k 
and then that is fertilized with nitrogen both these are fertilized with nitrogen so what we got to do is i kind of like to start planting so i'm gonna quick take the delta track back and then we're gonna jump in the planter 36 row planter and start planting beans and we do have some cattle manure coming in so what we can do is get a manure spreader and start spreading some of that that way we don't have to pay for fertilizer because cattle manure has p and k in it and it has nitrogen all in one I kind of like keeping my machines inside, but I'm using this in Hydra's Bar so much that do I really need to put it in the shed like every single day? Probably not, but we're just going to put it in there anyways. There we go. We'll open up the door real quick. Hop in the Magnum. And so right now I have corn. You guys can see in the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to switch it to beans. All you do to switch it is you just click on it. You just click on the seed bag in the upper corner, and then you can switch it to beans or wheat. Well, no, never mind. This planter can't plant wheat. It's a it's a 30 inch planter. The only planter that can plant wheat is the drills. Ooh, I was going to run some tillage on this, but I don't know if it's worth it. I think I'm just going to take a dock, like a 5% yield dock and just no-till beans into this corn stubble. We're going to start headlands quick. Look at the planter how it's flexing into the ditch. Pretty insane. Now, little stuff like that I nerd over because we spent so much time trying to get stuff like that perfect. It was it was complex trying to make that perfect. Okay, let's quick switch over to the P&K spreader because this is done. We should be good. And I'm trying to figure out... We'll get a hired worker going. Let him do his thing. He's going to go spread some P&K across there. And then if you check out here, if you check out here on the fertilizer map, you can see that right here, it's a different color. It's like a teal color. That's because it's got both P&K and nitrogen that's spread. And then if I go, if I go back here and then update it, you can see... It, it keeps increasing because that's him going around the field. The AI worker going around the field. I just love how so realistic we are with nitrogen, P, and K mechanics like that. I, I love it. I think something we need at some point is probably a bigger feed wagon. Because, like, it holds a lot. But if you're running a bunch of cattle, like, you got to throw a bunch of feed in there. We're going to start filling it up. And then feeding these guys because, I mean, these guys eat a lot. And... Okay, farmhand Ruth is driving to row entry. That means she's starting rows. Once again, I've already said this in the video, but I highly, highly recommend playing with the controller. Once you get the controls down, it's actually super, super fun in my opinion. And we got the big 36 row planner doing rows. Actually, no, it's on its second headland pass. That's just its second headland pass. It's not even doing rows. Or maybe it's doing rows. I'm not sure. We'll see how it, how it does. That's crazy. But we are not going to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's doing... I think it's doing headlands. It is knocking out so many acres. Really, once you start farming big acres, you can really start making a lot of money like this. Okay, guys, to wrap up this episode, you know what time it is. We're going to take the ATV, which this is DLC, guys, so this is extra if you do want to get it. It's kind of just fun. It doesn't improve the game at all. It just improves the, the funness of the game, the, the screw around of the game, we'll call it. Me and Bo. Me and Bo, baby. Come on, Bo. Okay, Bo's stuck a little bit. Me and Bo are going to ride on the back of the ATV. Hold on. Okay, we're hitting some jumps. I can't do a wheelie, but I can hit some jumps with Bo, baby. Oh, my gosh. Now, these ditches... Bo, Bo loves being on the ATV. These ditches are actually set up so you can, like, jump the... Look at that. You can jump the um, uh, the driveway. is pretty nice. Getting some air. And actually, I shouldn't say this utility ATV does have a hitch on it. So... You can move. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough speed, guys. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. But you can move. Um, but you can move um, like headers around and stuff with the ATV. It's kind of cool. And actually, not many people know about this yet. I don't think many people have discovered this. Maybe Austin Farmer's probably gonna show it off. I wouldn't be surprised. But there's actually what we call an off-road park, and it's in the back of the map. You can go down this road and enter it, or you can enter over here too. So it's right across from the uh, animal sale barn. Yep. So if you go around this like road close sign and you come in here then you got this like a little off road park and there's a bunch of jumps and stuff. Now, if you hit it with the dirt bike, the dirt bike can go a lot faster. It works better on the off road park. But this also works good. <laughs> the suspension on the ATV is kind of insane. Oh my gosh. Bo's just having the time of his life. He's just standing there. He's not even doing anything. Oh, we hit that jump so smooth. Okay, hold on. I'm going to head up here. Oh my gosh, we're going to keep climbing. Okay, we're going off the cliff. Into a tree, up a tree, down a tree. Okay, I'm stuck. Bo, you got anything, man? 
Okay, boys, we're stuck. We went up a tree. I think this is a good time to end the video. Bo doesn't want to help me move this ATV. But anyways, also, if you do really want to move the ATV, all you gotta do is equipment, and then you click on the ATV. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's my ATV? Utility ATV, hit that, and then you hit tow, and then it resets it for you if you ever get stuck like that. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this American Farming video. As always, Thanks for watching, and if you guys have the game bought, definitely leave a review, either like on iOS or Google Play. Um, let me know how the game is, guys. Thank you guys so much, because right now we are top of the App Store. Thank you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one.